Hi artists, I'm so excited that you're here with me today. Today we're going to learn how to make monsters with collage. Collage is when you take a series of paper and put them together and create a monster. Don't worry, our monsters are friendly. And we are going to talk about the way we feel with our monsters. These guys seem like they're having a pretty good day. All right, so we're gonna use some crayons. So any kind of crayons, you don't need a big kit. If you only have two or three crayons, that'll work. And some watercolors. I have a big kit like this. It's got different colors. But if you just have a regular kit of watercolors, maybe like five or eight colors, that'll work. So you'll need a paintbrush because you'll need to dip that in your watercolors and a cup of water. All right, any glass will do. Also, if you have it, maybe some construction paper. If you don't have that, just some regular paper. You can get paper from the printer, or if you don't have that, you could use the back of some paper. In fact, you could use the front of some paper that's got printing on it. It might make a really cool design. We're gonna create a monster with a background. Here's a three monsters. This guy's feeling a little left out and he's going to come over and talk to these guys and see what's going on. So our monsters are friendly and they're fun. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make some really beautiful papers that we can cut out and use on our monsters. Um, we're going to do this using crayon. So I just colored with crayon and then I covered it with watercolor. So what happens is the crayon won't let the watercolor soak into the paper. So first you create a design using crayon. Here's a whole bunch of different designs I've already created. So I can do one right now. I'm gonna pick out a crayon, maybe this green, and I am going to make some patterns. I think I'll make wiggles. This is gonna create sort of a texture. Texture is the, the it makes something look like it feels like something. So this is all just crayon. Then I'm gonna get my brush and I'm gonna get it really wet. So it's dripping wet and I'm gonna mix, mix, mix a color. So I'm getting some more water. See, I'm mixing up my orange. Then I'm gonna paint right on top of the crayon. See how the crayon won't let the watercolor soak in? So that's called resist, all right? So I'm gonna cover that whole thing with a color. Now this one, I did a bunch of U's. And then the next row, I made the U's begin at the bottom of the previous U. See how it hits right there? Let's pick a new color. I think this one I'll do dark blue. Let's see what happens. Wow, that really glows. See how the yellow, the yellowy green crayon won't let the blue show, uh, soak in there? Okay, and so that's what you're gonna do. You can fill up a piece of paper with different ideas. It's almost like you're making wrapping paper and then you'll cut that out and that's how we're gonna make our monsters. These polka dots I'm covering with red. If I need more color, I just get my brush wet, soak up some paint, put it on there. While that dries, um, oh, let me cover this one too. Let's see, Sometimes we'll, I'll try yellow. So I get my brush really wet and I scrub up that yellow. If your color's not bright enough, just stir it a little bit longer. And if not enough paint gets on your brush, use a lot more water. And then when you paint on top, it should um, resist where the crayon is. Sometimes, if you don't push hard enough with your crayon, this technique won't work. So if the crayon isn't popping out like this, push harder on your crayon. Sometimes they break, but that's okay. Here's some big pieces of paper. This texture kind of looks furry. I haven't painted on it yet. And this looks scaly. Those are different kinds of texture. This one looks oceany. I think that would make a nice oceany monster. All right, so while those dry, I'm going to make some eyes and some mouths. I'm gonna pick a dark crayon, or you could pick a marker or any color you want. Now, these I'm gonna cut out. So I'm gonna make a big eye. I make an eye with a circle and then a circle in there. 
And then when I color in that second circle, I leave a little bit of white and it makes it look shiny. That looks like a, a friendly eye. I think I'll make a smaller one. Sometimes if you make one eye big and one eye small, it looks a little wacky. I like that. Okay, now I'm gonna make um, an eye with an eyelid. So I made a circle with a line and then I'll make another eyeball. Okay, um, let's make a few mouths. I'm gonna make a happy mouth. So that's like a banana or a moon. And then I'm gonna make a not happy mouth, kind of just a square. And then I'm gonna make a sad mouth. Sometimes we feel sad and that's okay. But I like to give my monsters teeth. So I'll give him a I, two teeth. This guy I'll give just one tooth. This guy I'll, I'll just color it in. So I'm gonna color in the rest of the mouth. And by not coloring in the tooth, they sit, stay sparkly white. Now, if you wanna do a nose, you can certainly do a nose. I don't always put monsters' noses on their faces, but let's see, if I was gonna make a nose, maybe I'll just make a round nose like this, kind of like a clown nose, okay? So you can make a variety of eyes and noses and mouths, and now we're about ready to put our monster together. All right, one thing I forgot to tell you that you need is some scissors and some glue. If you don't have glue, you can use scotch tape. And if you don't have scissors, you can rip the paper, okay? So once I have these um, my patterns, now I'm gonna cut out a blob shape for my, my monster. You don't wanna make them too skinny or you won't be able to add things to them. So I'm just gonna kind of cut wiggly. See, I'm just cutting wiggly. I didn't even draw a line. I'm just gonna, this is gonna be sort of a blob mole a blob monster. So if I don't like the way it comes out, I can always modify it. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think that could make a nice monster. So now I'm gonna cut out an eye. Actually, I think it would look cool like this. So I have my eyeballs and I think this guy only needs one eye. So I cut it out kind of around it like that. And then if I want, I can get closer and closer. It doesn't have to be perfect. These are friendly monsters, so they're, you're the artist, so it can be as creative as you want. Let's put a little eyeball right there. And now I'll cut out a face. I'm sorry, a smile. This guy has a smile. And let me cut that out right here. Okay, and there. He's starting to look like a happy monster. So now, once you have it on there, you can move it around and decide how you want it to be. Oh, I like that. But I think he needs some little hands. So I'm gonna get that paper that I colored and I'm gonna see if I can find something for some little hands. So here's my polka dot one. I think I'll cut out some, maybe a foot. Does he need to have two feet? No. He could have one foot or he could have tentacles. You get to decide. There, I made a foot shape. And then from this one, I think I'll cut out two little hands. So I'm just gonna cut some, maybe I'll cut this out like that. I'm not drawing it, I'm just kind of playing around. So that will be one hand and this will be the other hand. Okay, so now's the fun part. We're gonna try to put this monster together. So I'm gonna put that foot under here and maybe one hand here and one hand there, like he's waving. You can change this if you want. Maybe you don't want him to have any feet. Maybe he's just floating. It's up to you. So now I'm gonna glue it together. So I'll take my glue or my tape and you pick it up and remember dot, 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 not a lot. You just need a little bit of glue. So I'm just gonna squeeze a tiny dot of glue there. This glue dries up really fast. And another dot of glue here. All right. Then I want this, if I glue it on the front, you'll see this part. So I'm gonna put a little glue right here and put it on the back of my monster. So I put it back there. And while it's wet, I can kind of position it. So I'm gonna put some glue right here and put it on the back of my monster. 
Now, my monster needs a place to live. So I think I'll make the background on this. I'm gonna take some crayons and just color a background. Maybe this, let's see, you can use your imagination. Maybe this monster is in space. I think that's what I'll do with this monster. He's gonna be a space monster. So he's in space and I'm just coloring a fun background. Now, if you wanna put watercolor on this, you can. Remember our technique? When you paint on top of crayon, it makes some really cool patterns. I'm just kind of making it a stripy, crazy background. There's my monster on a background. But let's bring in a little friend. So I'm gonna take my textures, remember this? And I'm gonna cut out another monster. This guy, I'm cutting, let me see, I'm cutting a blob. And I'll put him right there. And then I'll give him one eye. Hold on, let me bring that over there. There's his eye, let me cut that out. They both have one eye. Now, you could do two eyes or three eyes. You could do as many eyes as you want. This guy, I'm gonna cut out this little square mouth that I made. Just a sec, let me show you. Put it right here. Now, I think he looks a little sad, don't you? That's okay, we all have days where we don't feel the best. And it's so nice to have a friend or a parent or even a pet to talk to when you're feeling a little bit down. And it's also nice to be a friend to someone who is feeling down. I think this guy needs some little spikes on his head. So I'm gonna cut out some little spikes for him. I'll show you how to easily make some spikes, okay? I'm gonna cut out a little piece of paper. There's my little piece of paper. Let me color it. I think I'll use this bright orange. Oh, it's kind of a pink. I'm kind of just making myself some construction paper. And now I'm gonna cut out some spikes. Watch how I do this. Cut, 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 cut. He's kind of like a um, dragon monster. And then I can put these on with some glue. I'll just put some little dabs of glue on his head if I can get this glue to work. And I think these guys are gonna be friends. I think the monsters are gonna talk about how they're feeling. And it always seems to help if you talk to someone about how you're feeling. See the little spikes on them? Okay. What do you think? Does he need some hands or some legs? It's really up to you. You're the artist, so you can decide however you want it to be. Once you have them how you like them, I think I'll make them floating, or maybe I'll make him like that. And you can also turn it a little bit until the glue dries. Then you can glue them down on your paper. So um, let me show you one that I did. These two monsters were playing in the park. See, I made a nose and a mouth. These guys are tiny. These guys are sort of medium. And then I made some trees and some mountains and a sky. And then this little guy, can you see what I did here? I made some stripes with crayon and colored it yellow, cut out some eyes and a mouth. He wants to play. So he's gonna come over and ask these guys if he can play with them. That's sometimes scary, but they're monsters, so they're brave and they can do that. And I think you can too. All right, so let's talk about what we did. We took some paper and we colored it. Then we took some watercolor and we painted on the crayon. Then we cut out some blobs. Let me find my big monster. That's a big one. And we cut out a shape for the monster and then some eyes. These ones, I cut the eyes out and I cut the mouth out with black and white paper. If you have construction paper, you can do that. Added some arms and some legs and glued them on a background, okay? This guy, I made swirls. See the swirls? And painted it with lots of different colors, orange and yellow and red. 
and then I gave him some hands. Now look, if some paint spills, that's okay. That's a happy accident. Your monster won't mind and you won't either. Happy accidents are awesome. All right, so we made our happy monsters or sad or there's so many emotions that your monsters could feel. Maybe happy, maybe sad, maybe frustrated, maybe angry. It's fun to make your safe but scary monsters. These guys don't look very scary. Um, and explore the way you feel. Talk about it with someone. It's nice to say the way you're feeling to another person. And it's also nice to listen. Sometimes that helps us understand our emotions. Monsters aren't always scary. They can be fun and helpful. So I hope you have fun creating all kinds of monsters. Remember, they don't just have to be blobs and they don't have to be happy. They can have all different emotions and all different textures. They can have arms and legs or no arms or no legs, noses and mouths. You get to use your imagination. All right, I can't wait to see all the different monsters that you can create. Have fun with it.